Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to be doing another redstone tutorial since I actually have not been uploading for quite a while, you know, I've been very inactive, blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd just, you know, come back by doing you a lovely redstone tutorial and I think I'll bring the series back, you know. I think I'll actually start uploading a lot more redstone tutorials from now on so you guys can just like build all this in your like, creative world and trip like. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do um, a flush on and off nether portal and it looks like this. Press the button and it opens up the wall and opens up a nether portal for you. And you press the button again and it just looks like a, a wall again. Like if you remove this button, it's, it's, just, it's just a wall. Well you put the button there. Boom and just take, quickly take a look at the redstone behind this bad boy. See it's, it's not much. It's very easy to do guys. It's quite a simple build, you know. <clears throat> so let's just get over here and start building this. So what you're gonna need is um, redstone, redstone torch, redstone repeater, dispenser, bl uh, your block of choice. That can be anything. A lever, a button, piston, some sand, a flint and steel, a water bucket, a block of redstone, sticky piston. And I use um, color coding for all my different uh, redstone contraptions. So you're gonna start by digging down three. And it's going to be a 5 by 4 area. So you just want to break down all this dirt. No one likes dirt. Get rid of it all. Nobody likes dirt. Get away dirt. F fuck off dirt. <laughs> okay. So fill in your floor with your block of choice. <clears throat> um, now guys. Uh, I use the yellow code in here, the yellow code, and you're going to want to grab the stones lab. So in the bottom left corner of this, you want to place a block, and then place a slab on top of that block. Place a piece of dust on that, and place your block of choice above that redstone, with a button on it. <laughs> now place a block behind that redstone, place a repeater on that block, and place a block in front of that repeater. Place a block here with dust on it, place a block in front of the dust, place a block down there, put a repeater in one tick, two tick, three ticks delay, put a block in front of that repeater, a little bit of torch on top of it. So that's done. Now, you don't need your slab anymore, bring down your piston, you don't need your button anymore. Now, come right of this redstone, place a piston facing upwards, with sand on top of it. You no longer need your sand. And now, there's a block down below that. There's a repeater right there. There's a block above that. There's a dust. There's no dust underneath. Repeater facing out. There's a block in front of that repeater. There's a rest of dust there and a block to the right of that. <laughs> now, you need to get your sticky piston out. And just place two of them facing up right here. Place your block of choice on top. <clears throat> so guys what we got so far is basically it should look like this. So far if you've done everything correct press the button the block should come up press the button the block should come down. So if you've done that so far good you're doing it right. <laughs> so next get your um, make sure you've got your dispenser with you. Press the block up like that to try the bottom block. Go into crouch mode and place two dispensers like that. Behind the dispenser and place a dust right there. Now press th press this again. If you hear the dispenser click, you've done it correctly. Good, so make sure this is down for this next part. So you're going to want to actually grab the obsidian now that we're actually going to build the, um, the portal itself. So, like this. I'm sure you all know how to build a portal. Don't add the corners in there, no corners. Like that, see? You don't need that anymore. <clears throat> okay, next you're going to want to change your colour coding to whatever you want really, but I use a, a green for this next part. Now, place a block on top of that redstone torch. Place a redstone torch on top of the block. And then on top of that redstone torch, facing you, a sticky piston. Now, Get out your red block of redstone, place your block of redstone on that sticky piston. No longer need this. Come out two, go down one, break these two. 
come back one and come back here towards the portal like this until you reach that final block there and place dust along all of this actually. <coughs> now come in front of the portal get your sticky pistons and place one two one two when a crouch mode one two one two place your blocks of choice on the sticky pistons lovely now change your color coding again i'm going to use orange place one there place one there go to the other side do the same thing one there and one there get a redstone repeater put it on one two text delay one two text delay get a redstone torch and place them on these blocks lovely now change your color code in once more and this is just only one block so place that there place the dust on it so you hear the dispenser click place a lever right here just to change the direction of this redstone do not turn this lever on if you turn this lever on the machine will not work you'll just do that and you don't want that so just leave that lever there so that redstone is straight instead of a circle like that so now guys you should be complete with this machine the last thing to do is to add your flint and steel to the left and your water to the right and then you're good to go press your button it should close up for you press your button again and boom, a portal, woo!